Welcome. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Job Details page. The Job Details page is the main location for everything that relates to a job in Function Point. We're also going to be doing a thorough review of the Job Financials tab located on the Job Details page. Navigating to a Job Details page can be done by clicking on the name of the job from anywhere in the system. However, I'm going to start by hovering my cursor over the Jobs module hovering over View Job, and selecting a job here called Dealership Signage. That brings me to the Job Details page. Notice the breadcrumb. It lets us know that we're looking at a job called Dealership Signage, for a project called Dealership Campaign, under a client called North Shore Auto Group. Notice that we have our specific information in the middle, such as the job name, the description, the due date and status, and other details. We have any action that you may wish to take up along the top right corner in our series of action buttons. And we have any relating information below in our series of tabbed inserts, such as the contacts beneath the company, notes that have been entered. Notice that a tab that has values beneath it will be dark gray, whereas a tab that doesn't have any information to display will be a lighter gray and will be unselectable. We can see the estimate and any revisions for this job. We can see the timeline or schedule that's been created. Each task beneath the timeline will be shown including its description, start and end date, staff member who it's assigned to, individual who assigned it, and the estimated and actual hours. We can also see a summary view of the tasks that have resulted from that timeline and the tasks tab. Of course, selecting any task will navigate us to that task's details page. We then have our financials tab. I'm going to come back to this in just a second. We also have our invoices, files, and also a series of reports relating to the job that we're looking at. Let's go back to our financials tab. One thing I want to mention is that selecting the job number from anywhere in the system will automatically navigate you directly to the Job Details page and open up the Financials tab. The Job Financials tab displays an overview of the phase and the service structure that the job is built on, in other words the scope of work. We can then see for each phase and service the estimated hours, the billable value of those hours, our actual hours to date, the value of those hours in both a cost and a billable value. The variance column represents the difference between the billable value of our estimated hours and the billable value of our actual hours. We can see how much we've invoiced for each line item. And finally a comparison here between the value of our invoiced and the value of our actual. If we want to drill down to see more detailed information, such as these 11 and a half hours entered against design. You know, who entered them and what did they do? We can click on the arrow beside the service and it will show us a list of the timesheets organized by whether or not they've been billed with the date of the timesheet, the initials of the staff person who entered it, the amount of time, and the value of that time of both a cost and a billable value. And also the description of what was done. If you have the access level to do so, you can then open up the timesheet and make any edits or adjustments. On the topic of access levels, some individuals may see different information here depending on what their access level in the system is. Some individuals, for example, may not be able to see cost rates, whereas other individuals may not be able to see any dollar values at all. Another thing I want to mention is around expenses. Expenses will be listed here as well. We'll see both the estimated cost of the expense and also the actual. So if any purchase order or vendor invoice exists against the job, they'll be located and accessible from the Job Financials tab as well. That concludes this session on the Job Details page and Financials tab. Of course, continue checking out more videos for more helpful information on using Function Point.